Hello everyone, it's not trading here. Um, today is uh, March 4th, Monday. Uh, I'll be going with my recap for today. So today didn't provide any great quality setups. So I avoided trading for most of the morning here. Um, so I was watching CIF, CIFS. So there was, there was a, a little play here for this pre-market pre consolidation breakout of five. So, but I didn't take that, and that that would probably be the only entry I would have entered. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it wasn't really a great entry. Afterwards, there was a lot of uh, bull traps and short traps, you know, everywhere. Um, the only entry I would have taken was this uh, cup and handle break here. So you can see this cup and handle, and then break. Um, and then yeah, I would probably take the profit there at 570 because um, you can see that's where um, the five minute pull back to the 13 EMA um, Then it started to grind back which was uh, Really weird. So there's no really setup here um, besides um, this breakdown here of You can see the lower highs, lower highs, and then there's this 570 area. Um, 570 area, it breaks, and then it retested here and faded. Um, but um, not the, not really a perfect setup, but uh, the only trade I take was JMU. So this one had a couple of setups, uh, but I was kind of wary to enter. Um, this didn't really set up the way I like. Um, or actually, this could have been an opportunity here, but I didn't. I didn't like this, um, and it, it had short sell restriction. I was kind of more short bias because on the daily here, you can see that it sells off every every time it pops up. So today it kind of kind of sold off as well, but not. It was still kind of honing up there. So I, I actually took a, a quick scalp here uh, when it broke down this level. So I saw it making new highs, but it wasn't really strong here. And then you can see it's a little uh, bearish bearish candle. So I, I, I entered here and, and it was a quick scalp for like, it was like a $7 winner. And then I saw this uh, breaking here and then retesting. So I went ahead and short here and it was another scalp. Cause I, I didn't really trust this ticker and I wanted to avoid it uh, altogether. Um, so there was, um, I think I was still watching this. So CIF, CIFS, I located borrows, but I didn't use them. Um, CIF, there was this opportunity here where I was watching for a long, um, for, for if, if this would have held this uh so i wouldn't buy here uh usually you, you could buy here but usually i avoid buying here because it's really a bull trap um uh, what i would like to see is it goes over retest this 320 area and then um retest this trend line again and then break so that's what you want to see with your risk off here so you, bu you buy here and you risk here for a potential higher. Um, that's what you want to see, but it kind of broke down that pattern and then it kind of uh, fell off the grid and then there was a little short squeeze here holding VWAP um, and then uh, sell it off uh, at the end of the day. Um, so today it was just uh, two small scalps and $31. Um, but um, I think I did pretty well not to force trades. Um, I might have forced these scalps here, but um, this entry here was uh, pretty, I don't think it was the best entry. This entry here was, um, I kind of had a plan. I had, I was risking here, I top ticked it to um, risking high of day, but not, not exactly like a perfect setup. Um, and JM, you also have a short sell restriction, so that's a um, you can't hit the at you can't hit the bid when you're short selling, but sellers uh, 
for longs can. So it's kind of hard to also enter the trade unless you're uh, you're in pops. So so it's hard to to get into like a breakdown. Like if you saw a breakdown, it's hard to get in um, here um, unless you're waiting on the ask to get filled. Um, so that's all I have for today. Um, hopefully a lot of you uh, avoided these tickers. There wasn't really uh, an A plus setup to uh, trade, to enter. Um, I kind of went ahead and took a few scalps, but I don't think they were the best setups. Um, yeah, as always guys, uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, and comment. Thank you. Bye.